Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm your trader next to. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, this is the chart of gold and we can see a free fall. We can see a free fall and I can see that gold made a low of 18.15 in the morning. And right now we can see that there is no sign of recovery. And if you're still holding a buy position on the chart of gold, my dear friend, then it's like a suicide. Okay. In fact, I have already told you guys many times that if you're holding a buy position, try to exit, try to exit because whenever market sentiment dominates, okay, there is no support that will come for rescue. And we can see that nothing has worked and there's a free fall going on in the market. Okay. My dear friend, try to save the rest of the capital. Do not gamble with your capital. You can see gold pressured by strong dollar and yields. Gold down for seven straight session as US Fed stays hawkish. Gold continued to sell off on Tuesday, clocking its longest losing streak since August 2022. In the last session, as Federal Reserve official underscored the likelihood of interest rates staying high with US job openings data due later in the day. Yes, today we have a news also coming up so let's wait and watch how the market reacts and please be careful please be careful at the time of news because the market will be volatile again and your stop losses may not work at the time of news and if you want your stop loss to work at the time of news if you want to execute orders at the time of news then obviously you need a good broker like gtc fx that i have been talking about for the last couple of days if you're looking for a better broker good broker trustworthy broker check out the link in the description now this is the chart of DXY, my dear friends. We can see the DXY is standing at 107.12. In fact, I told you guys yesterday that if DXY wants to continue the uptrend, it will have to break the previous high. And if it doesn't stay also, okay, if it just make the high and comes down, then also it will be a confirmation of the trend con continuation. And we can see that right now, DXY is comfortably trading above the previous high. So there is no doubt about the bullishness of the dollar 102.12 during the day if dxy comes down also we have multiple layers of support and most importantly market sentiment is bullish so as of now before the news in the evening you can expect 106.802 act as uh, 106.802 uh, uh, act as the support for the market and in case the xy comes for deeper retracement also then we can expect 106.10 to 106 to act as the next big support on the chart of dxy because of the 50 moving average you can see the 50 moving average has been acting as a long support for quite some time so this is the strongest support on the chart of dxy and before the news we can expect 106 106.80 to work as the support and if we look at the chart of us government bonds you can see bond market is also extremely bullish so as a result the condition of gold is very very weak right now you can see the bond market has almost formed a double top kind of a pattern but if the same market sentiment remains then obviously no double top double bottom triple top nothing will work okay because when fundamentals dominate the market tactics do not work and you need to go with the fundamentals you need to go with the flow okay. so let's wait and watch how the market reacts after the news as i have already uh, said earlier that in this week the biggest news will be nfp so let's keep our eyes on nfp only and again i'm repeating if you already have a buy portion try to exit a retracement and because and sadly the market is also not going for retracement right now this is the daily chart of gold in front of us and you can see that the next big support on the chart of gold is around 1805 to 1810 level okay today in the morning i have placed the buy limit at the um, around 185 level um, my tp is around 1815 okay and if the same market sentiment remains, do not expect a trend reversal from here. Okay. Let's say the NFP also comes out and NFP also favors uh, DXY, then obviously the fall on gold will continue. Then the support of 1805 will not work and we will see a free fall on the chart of gold. Max to max, we will get to see a 
bounce temporary bounce on the chart of gold that's why i have just um, placed a buy limit at 1805 and my tp is around 1815 and my sl is around 1799 i'm just hoping for a bounce okay and if i see the bounce is not not very set, uh, satisfactory okay then i will reduce my tp to 1810 1811 level okay but right now 1805 18 uh, 1805 1806 this is the only hope on the chart of gold right now technically and you can see the market is going down and if you have listened to my previous videos hopefully we made good money yesterday also i told you guys that in this market condition forget about buy position only stick to the sell position and hopefully you have listened to my advice and you made good money also okay because i also listened to me and i also made some good money okay and in this market condition do not uh, think about fibonacci also because fibonacci is also not going to work because market sentiment is above all you can see here fibonacci was working beautifully previously but when market started falling drastically market broke fibo 50 percent retracement level we have fibo 61.8 percent around 1790 okay but if the same market sentiment remains if the same selling pressure remains it will also not work okay. so the only trading opportunity on the chart of gold right now is be on the sell position if you already have a sell position be on the trade enjoy the ride but if you have a buy position my dear friend if you already have not exited from the market then it's already too late try to exit and save the rest of the capital and if you're a day trader then what you can do is you can look for selling or uh, fresh selling opportunity again on the chart of gold so what is the next selling opportunity you can see here if gold breaks 1815 again if gold breaks 1815 during the day there's a good chance that the fall on gold will continue okay we can look for a sell position again but already the market has shown extreme selling pressure for the last couple of days market has fell by more than thousand pips in the last couple of days so as a result please follow proper risk management okay i will also take a sell position below 1850 level if gold falls but i will try to exit by 1810 level if i see the market is trying to take support okay and on the other hand if you see the market is uh, trying to recover right now if you see that during the day market is trying to recover then you can look for a sell position around 1826 27 level 1826 1827 why you can see i have just switched my time frame to 15 minutes on the 15 minutes time frame we can see the uh, the 50 moving average is working as dynamic resistance usually i'm not a big fan of the 15 minutes time frame for analysis but right now okay the analysis on the hourly time frame and four hours time frame is not working much okay so uh, so we are uh, using 15 minutes so during the day if we see the market is reversing from 1826 27 okay level we can look for a sell position again because in the market uh, in this market condition sell on rise is still the best trading strategy but market is not rising much <laughs> okay so sell on rise and if market reverses if you see the market is struggling around the area if market is showing price rejection from above around the 50 moving average you can look for a sell position otherwise the reliable sell positions on the chart of gold are around 1860 remember we discussed about 1860 yesterday yes the 1860 level is still valid but the problem is that 1860 is far away you can see around 1860 we still have uh, the resistance previous support working as resistance we will also be having 100 moving average then we have uh, 1885 remember the support of 1885 remember okay the 1885 support is also present as dynamic resistance and 200 moving average is oh, sorry aesthetic resistance and the 200 moving average will also be there so the resistance of 1885 and 1860 these two are still very much valid but they are far away from the current market price so as a result let's not waste time over looking at this during the, uh, during the day if you see market is bullish extremely or market is showing recovery at the time of news after news then you can look for sell opportunities around this area today but otherwise these are of no use today just keep your eyes on 1826 27 level but be careful because because already the market has shown extreme selling pressure and now things will be little bit critical okay already we are into a news week 
there are too many news this week if you just go to economic calendar you will see that we have a long list of events already gold uh, already gold has fell by more than 1000 pips so i think that there is still a chance of recovery there is still a chance of uh, there is still a hope for some uh, reversal okay to be honest i am hoping for a reversal very very soon okay that's why i have placed a buy limit at 1805 let's see whether the buy limit works or not okay <laughs> otherwise uh, it will just hit sl okay but if keep in mind okay if you're also planning to place a buy limit at 1805 keep in mind the market sentiment is very very important if you see that market is very very bearish market is standing at 1805 with a big red candle use your common sense okay remove the buy limit because i will also be removing mine because trading and common sense go side by side okay never forget that okay so this is my analysis be careful do not gamble okay and please protect your money okay Please try to exit from a buy positions. Bye. Thank you.